Welcome back to the Blockchain Gate. Today, we'll be talking about decentralized storage. You might have heard of decentralized networks like blockchains, but decentralized storages work a bit differently. But just like other decentralized networks, decentralized storage has many advantages. The definition of decentralized storage is a peer-to-peer -peer network of pooled disk space to create a shared universal memory. The closest example to decentralized storage is something like Dropbox but actually decentralized. There are a few decentralized storage projects coming onto the market, such as IPFS, Swarm, or SIA. Before we take a deeper dive into decentralized storage, let's take a look at the current world of data. Currently, we are in the midst of a huge data explosion. Artificial intelligence and IoT devices are producing incredible amounts of data, more than we have ever seen. By the turn of the decade, a Gartner report estimates there will be more than 20 billion connected devices. The connected devices, combined with more and more applications and the increase of data sharing between organizations, is greatly increasing the need for more data storage solutions. So why is decentralized the solution? The drive towards more data-driven business is occurring at the same time as we have seen more data breaches than ever from centralized data centers. Examples of recent data hacks include the recent Equifax hacking scandal, Anthem Health insurance breach, or the massive Yahoo breach, which affected over 1 billion Yahoo accounts. As we all know, centralized databases are more vulnerable than ever to hacks. Decentralized storage solutions have a few specific characteristics that make them beneficial in the face of this growing problem. Since they are decentralized, no single party controls all of the data. Because of this, it's harder to hack. You need to hack a majority of nodes within the network to get to the data. Also, there are no outages. Something like a systems failure or a power outage can greatly affect a centralized data center. Distributed storage solutions cannot be hurt by a single outage to a single node by a great degree. Additionally, there are many benefits of decentralized storage on blockchains. Decentralized storage solutions take the burden off of blockchain networks and handling and storing data. As blockchains begin to scale and handle increasingly more transactions, it will be unfeasible to store all the transaction data within the blockchain as it is not currently able to store large amounts. Projects such as FAB have already begun building blockchain networks which take advantage of other storage solutions in conjunction with blockchain storage. So how can decentralized storage work with the blockchain? Well, the first way is through sharding. Sharding is basically a type of partitioning that separates large databases into smaller and easier to manage parts called shards. For example, Instead of having the entire blockchain ledger data on each node, the nodes are split up into shard teams, which increases transaction efficiency. With decentralized storage, the shards are stored and accessed by a decentralized application with a partition key. Sharding is not a new technique and is very commonplace in centralized system, but it is still a new concept in decentralized systems. The main potential issue of sharding is that shard teams have to communicate with one another. If the shard teams don't communicate well, bad actors can exploit the gap and potentially create problems. The storage of shards is done through swarming. While blockchains use networks of nodes, decentralized storage uses large groups of nodes or swarms to store the data. Swarming reduces latency and increases speed through retrieval of data from the fastest node. Since the nodes are vast and spread out all over the world, there is increased scalability. A major benefit of swarms is that individual nodes own the devices for storage, not single companies. This means customers looking for data storage have more options to choose from than the current major players in the industry. That is a basic summary of what decentralized storage is all about. Feel free to learn more about the different decentralized storage options that are out there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Blockchain Gate. Thanks. See you later.